What's up? Uh, uh. Uh, I'm actually got my laptop so I can see the chats. If anybody shows up, that, that is. We'll see. We'll see. Because it is literally like I must uh, get a couple of loads of topsoil. Had to go get, I think, all together. Four. I'm downstairs in the bunker. What's up, caveman? I'm down here in the bu bunker. I'm in the bunker. And I'm back. <laughs> ah, this get some sunshine in here. That way, the bunker don't feel so much like a bunker. So, how's everybody doing today? What's up, Harold? Oh my goodness. One day, Blaine, one day, one day. No guarantees, but one day. It's a small, got some relatives that live in Canada and Prince Edward Island, PEI. So pretty much full day. It's like, no matter how much I hydrate when I'm done, it's like there's a second round of thirst comes in. It's crazy. It's weird. It's weird, I say. Let me pull this over. Got a couple of little things I want to take care of while I'm thinking about it. And I figured I'd go live while I was doing it, hang out with you guys. We do it now. There we go. Uh -huh. So we're gonna put some stuff together. Check something. It's really quick live. Really quick live. Like quick, quick. So, and sometimes when you go, when you do the quick ones, you miss things. And I miss things. I forgot to turn my Wi Fi on. I was just using my cell phone. So, it should get better. Big dummy me. Big dummy me, I'm telling you, people. All right, so, my my best my, my best friend in the whole wide world, epoxy. We're gonna mix up some epoxy. Epoxy. Oh, epoxy. I love, I love epoxy. Uh, so one of the things with this new table rig I got comes with these uh, these wood pegs because the, the table actually has holes in it. And these uh, are pegs. So what I'm doing is, instead of me using my big foam anvil, I'm going to make an anvil with, a, with one of these pegs that I could just peg in it make life so much easier. <laughs> I like that, Harold. 
Uh, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. I figured uh, I was, I'm gonna try. You know how hard it is to find a metal ladle? I'm serious. Everything's plastic now. Everything, it's like, dang. So I've never used a plastic ladle for an anvil. And since my metal one over here is epoxied, I ain't getting it off. So I figured, hey, we'll try a, uh, we'll see what happens. I think it'll work. I do think it will. I think it will. I have confidence. I have confidence that it will. So let me goo this on. Let me goo, goo it. There we go. Like so. Five minute epoxy. So yeah, there's what it'll look like. Make sure it's reason. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it over here in this hole, this peg. And I'm gonna take this nice two and a half pound weight and balance it on top of it. Oh, boom, done, epoxy engaged. How easy, how easy was that? Ah, oh, let's see here. <laughs> yeah, I need to fix Bubba's head. That was so funny. If you haven't seen that video, why not help a brother out? That was so funny. <laughs> I mean, I love that. That was, uh, it was just one of those things. Um, but I'm also making something else that's going to require some epoxy. Epoxy. So let me get some more going here. Come on. Equal parts. Come on. We're getting there. It's always the right side that doesn't want to come out. The left side always comes out easy, but the right side, it just does not want to come out. It don't. It does not want to work with me. It's what it's doing. There it goes. There we go. Boom. I need a lot. I need a lot of epoxy. Because this is actually really cool, and anybody can do this. Anybody. This is just a fun little thing I'm doing. Uh, I've been kicking around with it. I was going to do a video on it. I still might. But, uh, you know, I want it to be a little different. So, that's what I'm doing. Twirling the epoxy. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to, trying to concentrate. All right, so what I'm doing is, just so to give you a backstory, we all have these little dynamic flight stands, right? They're really cool, they got a little peg, you put them on a clear base, blah, blah, blah. We know the drill. However, I wanted to do something different. The first thing I wanna do is tighten that screw up. So I found this really cool flat rock on my property and I drilled a hole in it with a masonry bit and I took the little thing off here and now I am actually sticking it in the epoxy <laughs> now we'll tell you this it's a little bit of a challenge because you're gonna have to sit here let me show you bone in the epoxy right there boom now this is a heavy rock too. I mean, it's like it's so. This thing is have. Uh, this thing is so heavy. But I just wanted something different, and I just thought, you know, hey, why not get a big old rock, drill a hole in it, 
fill the hole with epoxy and stick a dynamic flight stand in it. Right? Sounds pretty cool to me. <laughs> do, 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 do. Thanks, Harold. I like, I like, this is one of my shirts from um, uh, T Fury. I've had this shirt for a while. So what I'm trying to do, the beauty of the five minute epoxy, well, I'll say the beauty of it. It's okay, as long as you don't gotta sit here and hold it. But uh, it gives me the opportunity to twist the, uh, the flight stand part around and see how I'm liking what I'm what it, what it's looking like. I think I think right there. And I actually drilled the hole just a little bit bigger too. Thanks, Jeanette. I try. At some point, it actually gets to where you can let it go, but you gotta sort of like keep your eye on it because it could actually like fall over. You could, I'm gonna see something here. Ooh, did I just do that? Did I just create with a kebab skewer, a bracket to hold this? Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, but no, that's the thing, challenge yourself, you know, I mean, Find some rocks. I'm actually do, doing some other cool stuff, uh, or I think it, it's cool to me. I mean, and that's the thing, and that's all that matters, as long as it's cool to you. And I'm also, um, the epoxy is actually getting a little stiffer, so I'm just finally tuning it, making sure that everything looks copacetic. That big word, copacetic. I've got a couple of other rocks here, and what I'm doing with those, I'm, make, I'm using those as bracing. Yeah, yes, yes. Um, but you know, I mean, do cool stuff with your figures. Don't, don't settle, don't settle for plastic bases. If you don't want plastic bases, Go get a rock and drill a hole in it and stick a bracket in it. Stick a clamp in it. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. <laughs> I like them anyway. Does it charge when it ships or right away? Uh, typically, well, when I order something from Amazon, I think it just, you get it, it you pay for it right then and there. This is like a, I don't know about pre-orders. I've never, you know, I don't, the only thing I ever get from Amazon, I get the, the collector core boxes. I don't think those charge till they ship. I don't think. Normal stuff like, you know, like say I ordered some Plasti Dip, it charges. No, actually I'm making a uh, dynamic flight stand. I'm letting the epoxy dry. Once the epoxy dries, I'll show it to you. Or I can actually show it to you now, so. <laughs> Duh. I can do the uh, camera flippy. Boom, right there. So I'm using these rocks right now to hold the, uh, the stand up. But I really like the front of this rock right here. And it's a, it's a good flat rock underneath, so it'll balance good. And we got a little dynamic flat stand. And look, there's you guys right there. <laughs> Voila. <laughs> the, the power of magic. Um, but I do need to fix my 10 inch. It's just hot glue. No big deal. It was, I, don't, I mean, it was funny to me. I know, oh man. Ugh. I knew I, I knew that was sticky. Epoxy. And I licked it. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, but no, I mean, it's like none of this stuff is like in a book or nothing like that. It's just 
You know, if you want to do something, just do it. I mean, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just that type of person. It's like, when I see something, like when I saw this rock, I was like, you know what? That'd be a cool figure stand. And I put a figure on it and I was like, hmm, no, that might be even cooler if it had a dynamic flight stand on it. It could be. We shall see. You never know. So what's everybody been up to while I like my video or like while I like my live stream? Yay. I already got two thumbs down. What's up with that? Thank you for my thumbs down. It still counts. <laughs> it still counts. Oh my God, I just stuck my thumb in that again. Ugh. Usually when I work with epoxy, I've got gloves. Um, but no. What's up, Liz? So I'm also working, so these two rocks that I'm actually holding, that's holding this up, they're actually part of another display piece that I'm working on right here with these red rocks. And if you notice, there's a A, B, and a C on it right there. And uh, like there's an A there. So A to A. So when I, when I fit the rocks, as soon as I find a position that I want them in, I'll like undo it and say A and A. <laughs> so that way when I'm taking them apart and I'm gluing them and epoxy them, I don't forget what I was doing. And this, these two rocks here are a B and a C, so. Wow, new black series? Psh. One of these days when I go hunting, I might get something. I'm actually thinking about doing a hunt next week I'm still i'm still on the fence with it i don't know yet man i went to lowe's today i was all mask up you know whole nine yards people acting like there ain't nothing going on it's crazy it's crazy so maybe i'm just a crazy one i don't know i'm starting to wonder am i the only one that's crazy because everybody else seems to act like they ain't too much going on, but town was full. Of course, our state, the governor said, go on, get out there, so. But I am thinking about doing a, a hunt. It's probably just gonna be a couple of Walgreens, something small, I don't know. Bought milk, April 24th. <laughs> yeah, everything is packed. It's, it's, I mean, I get it, you know, I mean, cause I'm stir crazy, I'm stir crazy. But, oh, my second next best thing I like other than this is this. Gorilla glue, super glue. I think I know now why I keep getting epoxy on my finger. Yeah, it's right there. I, I squoze it too hard <laughs> and it went everywhere. So yeah, I did pick me up some, uh, some more Gorilla Glue while I was at Lowe's this morning. Shake well. Okay, I'm shaking. Part-time restaurant last night. Yeah, Austin. Uh, I actually saw uh, Olive Garden. So here's the thing. It's funny because if you go through the guidelines and stuff, like employee, employee, employees of a place that opens up are supposed to wear protective gear. And I went by Olive Garden when I went to get my second load of mulch. And I noticed the lady out front, uh, she had her mask on and she was temperature checking customers as they went in. I thought, yes, there you go. There you go. What's up, Jordan? Thank you, thank you, LSN. I mean, I'm, sometimes I do think I'm like the only one and I'm like, am I overreacting? Am I just being stupid? I mean, I don't know, but it's just weird. It's just weird. But I do come down with some projects and at least I can show you how to make a flight stand out of a rock. <laughs> What's up, Brian? <laughs> now that's exciting right there, watching me make a flight stand with a rock. 
Dean, favorite 90s cartoon. I don't, honestly, I didn't, I'm old school Looney Tunes cartoon dude. That's me. I mean, I'm just old school Looney Tunes. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you on the headache thing. All right, so I'm gonna see if this is, okay, that's, that's actually stiff enough now. All right, so here you go, right there. One dynamic flight stand, drill a hole in the rock, not all the way through, or your epoxy will leak out. And uh, I think, honestly, this is pretty cool. I think there's uh, some opportunities here. Um, and this is the first one I've done. This is like a trial, so I dig it. Boom, I dig that. Uh, yes, my rock was clean. The hole was clean. Um, and then what you can, what I'll probably do later on is take some spray adhesive, spray it on there, or maybe even some Mod Podge, I don't know, and sprinkle a little bit of sand or something on it, give it a little texture on top, but uh, I think I think this is I think this is pretty cool for a flight stand, a heavy flight stand. This is like a three pound flight stand. It ain't going nowhere. But this looks cool right here. I dig it. I dig it. I dug it, I do dug it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lean this back a little bit. Yeah, I didn't want it straight up. So so what I, what I was planning on doing, and now I remember why I drilled the hole bigger, is I didn't want it perpent like straight up in the air. So what I just did was that the epoxy's setting enough, I just took it and moved it back towards this back section. So now you can actually do that so yeah nice nice but definitely when you first put it in let the epoxy start setting up straight before you push it back that's just my tip heck yeah now I can just sit it over here and let it fully cure and done but the other two rocks, like uh, there's C and there's B. So in this scenario here, we got B and B goes right there. And then C, I think C went like this right here. Let me double check. Yeah, I think that's the way it went. So these right here, I'm going to epoxy as well, but there's another little flight stand thing where you got a leg down and a leg up. And these were little samples uh, that I got from my local um, um, landscaping company. They had little samples and I thought, hey, you know, these red rocks are cool. So I, uh, there we go. Boom, right there. Let me see if I can do it without it falling apart. That's a really cool. Like I said, you could put a leg here and a leg up, a leg up here. You could have some fun with that. It's a small little uh, display stand. So yeah, you can do anything with rocks and epoxy. <laughs> anything. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna check my foam anvil over here. Let me pull this thing off. Oh yeah, right there, foam. Foam anvil is complete. That's actually pretty, uh, that's actually pretty tight. I actually dig that, yeah. Good job, heck yeah, way to go, Greg. Oh, and I also found this too when I'm working with my foam. These little two and a half pound flat weights, they work great for holding your phone down. Oh man, but I did want to, I need to, 
be thinking about this bad boy and working on it. So I thought we would uh, maybe mess around with this thing for a little bit. My Wester 35 3D printed pistol. Oh, and there's another cool thing about this, this little pistol. And I, I showed it, I think, on a live stream. Uh, Jeanette, supposedly in restaurants, restaurants in my state right now are supposed to be like 50 50% 50 capacity, which means basically every other table's empty. So I don't know. I don't know how uh, they're doing it with Austin. But I didn't notice when I first started messing with this thing. And this is how cool this prop is. So we got the grip, right? Check this out. Magazine comes out and look at that detail right there. Is that not insane? I didn't even know it did that. The clip comes out. So yeah, we're going to uh, experiment a little bit with this bad boy. I need to get it, I need to get it uh, painted up, primed up, and all that other good stuff. I walk around my table and get me some sandpaper. I actually, when I was looking at it, it's actually not too terribly bad. I was actually really surprised. On uh, how good it actually looked. Let's play around with this a little bit. I want to see on this underside just how this thing actually. Let me try some 120. Okay. I'm halfway tempted because I do like the fact that it does have a little bit of texture to it. I don't know if I'm going to really put a lot of sanding into it. Because to be honest with you, it actually does look pretty good that way. But I want to try it anyway. Thanks, Jordan. I swear I'm digging this thing the way it is, though. I do need to glue that in. I do need to glue the barrel plug in. I just don't know if I'm going to do a whole lot to it or not. I just don't know if I am. Because I'll be doing primer filler, and uh, so I might actually just go that route. Let the primer filler do a lot of the fill in because it's not bad. I mean, you can see a little bit of the lines like right there, but it's not bad. I mean, it definitely, uh, definitely smooths it out. It smooths it out. So I got to figure out another thing. Um, where do I order my figures from online? Uh, Big Bad Toy Story, Story, Big Bad Toy Store, Hasbro, uh, Amazon. Um, uh, have actually ordered, I can't remember the place overseas. Oh, I wanna say Galactic something, I've ordered from them. Um, honestly, it just depends on, honestly, it just depends. It depends on, um, what I'm looking for and stuff like that. But I give, I, I pretty much give everybody a shot.
So what I'm thinking about doing with this trigger assembly, because it comes out too, the trigger assembly. So it's like that, boom. I'm thinking about taking a piece of foam. I wanted to check it first and see. I was thinking about taking a piece of foam and wedging it down in there. And, uh, sorry, I shut the door. I just saw a cat. <laughs> I just saw my cat came down. I was like, what? What are you doing now? She got past the barricade. So, what I'm thinking about doing is taking a piece of the foam and just wedging it in there. That works great. That's legit, that works great. Oh, you ain't my cat. Come on, buddy. Well, come on. He's the neighbor cat. Come on, buddy. Come on. <laughs> we got this uh, neighbor's cat. He's, he's like, he looks just like my cat. So now it explains what he's doing in here. Wow. I just got invaded and there he goes, out the door. <laughs> But I think this will work good right there. And it also gives a little bit of play in the trigger. I like that. I can, I dig that. Heck yeah. That's the way to roll right there. And then that way I can just put a little dab of glue on the top. Boom. Cat name, ooh, Francesco. Good name for a cat. That's a great name for a cat. All right, let me uh, cut off this little tip here. Do 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 do. Dun dun dun. dun. There we go. Let's see if there's any go gorilla glue gonna come out. Oh, right there it is. I thought it was. I thunk it was. Damn. Yeah, neighbor cat. He's, uh, he is totally friendly. He is a cool cat. He loves to, he just, he loves people. And it's funny because I hadn't seen him in a while, but he's literally the same color as both of my cats. So when I saw him out of the corner of my eye, I thought, well, how did they get down here? Cause I didn't hear my, my block aid come off. So, uh, there we go. There we go. Little bit of super glue. So what I'm gonna do is push that in. Like that. And this glue I'm using here is actually uh, um, more of the gel kind. I like it because it comes out almost like epoxy does. So it doesn't get crazy all over the place on you. All right, got that in there. Get my little, uh, little skewer thingy here. Move that adhesive around. Booyah, booyah. We got a trigger assembly installed neighbors uh... <laughs> uh cats are cool they really are the personalities are just crazy funny to me okay so let's get that i'm gonna put a little more i pop that little thing out so i'm gonna put a little bit mo 
right there. Whoa, hello. Matter of fact, I'm going to take this out. Set that right there, get that foam out. I want to put a little bit more right there. There we go. There we go. We're getting it now. We're getting it. Get that there. Put that down there. Get that piece of foam right there. Boom. Get my little screwdriver right there. Pop that down. Let's let that sit for a minute. So let it sit for a minute. So what has everybody been up to today? She grow a wizard beard. <laughs> then we'll die. Then we'll die it white and just be Captain Rex. That's what I'm gonna do. Why not? It's already got a little gray in it, or quite a bit of gray. But yeah, what have you guys been up to today? Hopefully, some fun stuff. This fun stuff is awesome. Oh. Oh, thanks, Anthony. Buying tools, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta have tools. About to go to work. Got you. Um, um, so I'm having a hard decision with this I'm having a really hard decision on well sort of having a hard decision on painting this thing so I might need some assistance because I'm going to paint it um, I thought about just doing a little bit of, you know, do the, I'm going to do the primer. Sorry, hang on. I just want to get just a little bit on this. Come on out. There, there it is right there. Um, so I'm going to do, um, I'm definitely going to primer it and everything. But what I'm thinking about doing as I hold this in place, um, I thought about doing where this down slope is right here, right here. I thought about doing this all black and then doing this top layer like a, a gunmetal gray. I thought about doing the whole thing in black and then just do some uh, silver rub, rubbing, uh, rubbing buff and just highlight it. Um, so I don't know. I'm, So interesting how historical characters have been connected. This is the look of confusion. <laughs> Jeanette. <laughs> Don't get the trigger stuck. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this came from Premier Props. Uh, really cool right there, Premier Props. Uh, he does some really good 3D printed stuff. Uh, I think this was, I can't remember what I paid for this, but it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It was very, very reasonable. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, just watching it. <laughs> But I am very excited to uh, get this thing started. Hopefully, I'm going to uh, shoot a video tomorrow on part two of my uh, Lone Wolf helmet. Um, finish sanding that and get a primer coat on that. Um, so, yeah. Just so much stuff going on. It's crazy. I do need to take this part down because that looks just nasty right there. I need to take that down. 
Target toy hunt. You go. Let's take this down. Get this thing down just a hair. While the glue's setting up. A little metallic, okay, yeah. So I'm, uh, but I'm definitely wanting to, um, I'm definitely going to do some, uh, on the handles themselves. That's going to be, I think more of a silver or gunmetal gray. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, the year I spent in Japan, I fell in love with Japanese culture. Um, it's just, I love Japan. It's a great, uh, it's a great culture. Very disciplined. I will tell you this, sanding 3D printed stuff is a whole lot more difficult than sanding uh, resin. Just say it. Token, ooh. Okay. Oh, that's, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Not near as nasty rough. Still looks a little rough, but it's not nasty rough. See, that's why when I make these sanding sticks, flat surface right there, this is hard to do when you're doing this. Paint sticks, sanding paper, sanding stick, look. Perfectly flat. And you can lay it on the table. It gives you a flat surface so your angles don't get rounded. Boom. Seamus, what's up? You'll love Japan, Jeanette. I'm sorry. I'm telling you. You think Las Vegas is bright? Mm -mm. Go to Japan. Especially the major cities. It's crazy. Get a little 320. Hit that with some uh, filler. I think that's good. That's good. All right, so now the fun part is getting this part done. All right. Get a little there, a little there, a little right there. Get my extra little piece of foam, which is great for spreading uh, this gel super glue. So that way you don't have too much. So here we go. This little bit off right here. All right. Now the fun part, me doing this for a few minutes <laughs> while we chat. Uh, ooh, Osaka, yes. Look here. Oh, baby, she's put together. Okinawa is a very beautiful little island. It's really nice. I love Okinawa. So if I was really, really smart, I would buy some super glue accelerator 
And uh, the beauty of that is, is when you squirt it, it inst instantaneously, like quicker than anything, sticks your super glue. Just saying. Uh, yes, the Sandy sticks make life so much easier. So, so much easier. It's insane how easy it makes them. <laughs> All right, I think we're stuck good enough to where I can let it just a little cure on its own, but Wester 35. Death Watch Mandalorian Primary Blaster Pistol right there. Wicked cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, right there. With the clip. Boom. Oh, this is so, this is so cool. I was curious if my other little uh, skewer stick would work, and yes, it will. It'll work to paint it or to primer it. Oh, that's so, that's so cool. It's wicked cool. Wicked cool, I'm telling you. Hmm. Uh, da -da -da. No Luke or Hoth. Man, okay. Like I said, I've not seen anything. I'm, I'm literally like, I don't even know what's in the stores right now. All right, so the flight stand has completely cured right there. Boom. Completely cured. Now we have a flight stand on a really cool rock. Yes. See? I love this stuff. I love making things. I love thinking outside the box and just taking normal things and unusual things and then just putting them together. Uh, this uh, is actually a 3D printed uh, pistol from Premier Props. Um, I think I, I want to say I paid like 30 bucks for it. Well, that's so cool. Clip out. Clip in. Lightweight. I don't even think it weighs a quarter, not even a quarter of a pound. Glue feels pretty tight. Heck yeah. Digging it. Of course, he only had one, so I need to get another one. Um, ooh, a Shore Trooper. It's a good idea. But uh, I'm really excited for this. This is cool. This is so cool. It's got a, it's got a good feel to it. Like I said, don't weigh nothing. It weighs nothing. But the... Um, the heavy man, the, or Death Watch man, or they actually had two of these. So, but he only had one of this design. He had one of another design, but I, I wanted a matching set. So, um, I'll have to see what happens. I'll see if he if he does any more. So, yeah, right there, boom. It's only took me like two weeks, three weeks, four weeks to get to this point. <coughs> Do, 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 do. I will have to look at that as far as a. Now, I will say this for, with this flight stand, it is a flight stand. Now, what you could do, I thought about doing this as well, is don't put this one here, but put just this one. And then, then you have a standing uh, flight stand. Um, but I wanted the first one to do, since I only had one of these rocks, I actually wanted it to be a, uh, a dynamic one, so that way I could actually maybe do something with both. 
So, Christian, what's up? What's up? I also have, uh, where's it at? I also got some metallic aluminum. Oh, and when you're painting stuff, I'm gonna highly recommend um, this 2X Ultra Cover. This is good stuff. It's good stuff. It'll make your life so much easier. I'm just saying. I got three cans of this aluminum metallic. You believe that? Three cans of that. Four cans of it. What is going on with me? That's crazy. <laughs> got three. I got four cans of metallic. And I got one can of primer. That's crazy. That's cray cray. That's legitimately crazy stuff. I was gonna see. Yeah, that'll work. I'm trying to get my uh, thoughts right when I uh, go outside and primer this thing. I think what I'm going to do, too, I have noticed that this clip, which is understandable, it's a little, it's a little loose. So what I'm thinking I might do, I might put a piece of felt or something. I don't know yet. Hmm. Because it is a cool piece. I don't actually want to, like, permanently uh, attach it. Magnets. I could do the magnet strips. The little skinny magnet strips. That's actually a cool ideal. That's actually a really cool ideal. Thank you. Boom. Uh, yeah, that's true. The, the, the paint will snug it up. That is true. That's a good point as well. That is a very good point. So, yeah. I am very, very pleased to finally have this thing put together. It, it's only took me forever. It's only took me forever. Forever. Yeah, once I get it all uh, primed up, then uh, get those coats sanded down, then I'll be able to look more at what I want to do. I'm hoping, I'm hoping tomorrow I'll be able to get my lone wolf helmet um, Well, capacity wise, it, it, they don't hold bullets. They're, it's blasters. So this is electronics. So you don't need a big clip for an electronic blaster because it's energy weapon. So I don't know. I mean, Aliens, if you remember the Aliens movie with the Marines, the second Aliens movie, where they had their little, their little clip thingies, it looked like little diodes you just unplug. So I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm still collecting. But now, as far as the size of the pistol, it's a perfect size. I mean, you figure, you know, it's got a good weight. I mean, the weight is nothing, but the, the ergonomics of it, compared to a a normal pistol is pretty spot on. So the ergonomics is there. I'm just saying. I think uh, I think he did a good job on these. Only does make me want a 3D printer. <laughs> That's all it does is make I can use one at my public um, uh, library. What up doc? We're just chilling man. Um but the thing with 3D printing, which I totally get it, but it's like, 
Jeez, man, you got to sit there for hours. And I know I've printed stuff over at the library, and I'd go over and start it like in my first break, and then go over in the afternoon, and something would happen, and it quit working, or a mistake. It, the program would air out. And it's just like, I just wasted eight hours of my life. What's up, Darn? I do like the magnet idea. I do like the I do like that magnet idea. And what I'm curious is, see, so here's the, let me let me do something here. Um, hello. So it looks like, it actually looks like it's the, the proper depth going in. So I might be able to take um, the two-sided magnet, that peel and stick, cut a small piece to fit that little eye right there, stick two of them together, then peel it, then slide it in there and stick it. It might come out just a hair, but I don't, I think that'll work. That's a, I like the magnet ideal. <laughs> hey, you know what? Sometimes it's cheaper to buy your 3D stuff. And like, if you're cosplaying and stuff, I mean, right now I can't justify a 3D printer other than me just making stuff. Um, the jet, oh, the jet of Rev, that's a cool figure. Um, but for me personally, um, it would, I think realistically it would probably, it would cost, it'd cost me more to make this $30 prop because I'd have to buy the printer, buy the material, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then go through all the mistakes. So like I said, if you're doing cosplay, which is what I'm trying to get into, uh, to me, it's just cheaper just to buy the prop than it is to, uh, buy the printer and then make my own props. So, yeah. Cool beans, jelly beans. Do, do, do. Just trying to make sure. All right, so we're gonna go probably for about, another, we're gonna go to probably another 12 minutes and I'm gonna cut it loose. So I can um, go upstairs and um, Think about going and getting some pizza. I got a craving for pizza. Papa John's. Call ahead. <laughs> but I might go ahead and throw, what I'll do is follow me on Instagram because I'm gonna do a picture of this and then I'm going to, I'll probably put at least one coat of primer on it today. But for me to do that, I gotta go out there, so. Uh, take <laughs> Pizza does sound good, and I'm, I love Papa John's pizza. I do love Papa John's. Big fan. Pizza Hut, yeah, okay. Sugar flowers, cheap. See there, yes, we're, we're pizza people, right? Pizza people. Gamers and toy collectors are pizza people. That's who we are. Uh, Black Series wise, um, I did see the new um, uh, Hasbro. I saw a picture. I think Ren put it out. Uh, the Clone Trooper that looked really cool. The new Stormtrooper looks pretty cool. Uh, the Boba Fett helmet, yes, John. I am going to be getting that helmet. Got to right. <laughs> uh, Doc, uh, T Fury dot com, uh, T E F U R E or R Y dot com, uh, Zero Foxtrot. Like I said, I'm not affiliated with them, nothing like that, but that's where I get a lot of my shirts. Uh, K and L probably going to go with the Supreme, the works, the works. Jeanette, I'm telling you right now. There's nothing wrong with grocery store pizza. I can tear up a DiGiorno's from the grocery store. Panay pasta. So if you like 
but yeah, if you like penne pasta, you need to do penne pasta with, um, um, it's a jar of uh, olive oil and, oh my goodness, what is it? It just slipped my mind. Dang it. It's green. It's almost like, it's like a dipping stuff, uh, but it's got garlic in it, basil, uh, Oh my goodness, but it makes a really good penne pasta. Tombstones? Oh, you got Pop John's in the UK? Nice. Janette, are you guys still on like serious lockdown in the UK? The news here really isn't covering much overseas anymore. Uh, yeah, I, I get impatient too. I do get impatient. Just saying. Oh, so I'm gonna do a, um, I actually reached out to, um, there's a guy over at, um, um, Atmosphere Aerosol, you know, the smoke in a can. And uh, he actually, me and, me and him actually, are, used to be neighbors and I was chatting with him and he sent me some, uh, aerosol in a can. I've used it in the past. It's, it's been sort of hit and miss on, like I said, if it's really windy outside, it's really hard to use, but the next toy photography video I do, I'm going to have some of that. So you guys will see that. Pesto. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Pesto. Exactly what that is. It's pesto. Thank you so much. Yeah, you can come over and tell everybody what you're doing. You you guys want to see Kim? She's like right here. Do you get an extra large one? Yeah. You want a chocolate chip cookie? You guys you guys want to see Kim? She uh she, she's she's already ordering the pizza. Snitzels in the what? I got the fan blowing right there. Oh. Hi, guys. <laughs> There's the missus. <laughs> Kim, Kim the meatloaf. <laughs> meatloaf. <laughs> Jeanette said hi. Everybody's oh. telling you hi. Um, so, yeah, she's already ordering the pizza. Look at there. You're, you're like, everybody's... Don't freeze. No, 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 no. No freeze. No freeze. That, pizza, that pizza's going to be at... It's gonna be it tonight. <laughs> tonight. See now you can see, you can see like your arm right there. Yeah. Because you're like sort of in the way, but or sort of in the. Well, I'm not anymore. She 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 shy. I just didn't Pop said to order one. I'm you're not interrupting. We're we're actually wrapping up. So. Well, I've got to go put a credit card in here for my battery. Dies. All right, you go do that. Uh, when the oh she said bye everybody. <laughs> um. When's the Black Series figures coming out? Some people are already, they're already getting them in their stores. I don't know what my store has. Cause like I said, uh, uh, like I said, I haven't been to a store. Like I said, I'm really thinking about going to uh, start maybe hunting again. That would mean the figure. Uh, when's the Black Series figure coming out? Oh, the great cook. Oh, oh. Well, technically, so I'm. Um, I guess technically it it already is for Captain Rex. <laughs> yes, please do. Uh, thank you so much for that. I'd love to see that because I think honestly the oh the backside, the backside. Ooh, there is enough room right there, so it just that's even a better ideal. Boom. Alex Ball for the Super Chat. Thank you so much. Extra cheese. Boom. Thank you so much for that. Backside. That's even, dude, that is so genius. Yes. Yes. Booyah. I like it. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking it might be Jeanette. 
Because I'm literally like stir crazy, like bad. I, I love, so so here's your thing. All right, I'm going to give you guys, before we head, because we're going to wrap things up, because I'll have to go get the pizza. Um, but I'm going to tell you a little trick about pizza. And I seriously, if you guys like pizza, you need to try this, because it's great. So I love thin crust pizza, but I also like regular crust. But this is a really neat thing to try. So take burrito tortillas, like the big burrito, torti burrito tortillas. And it works really good if you have a pizza stone. Put whatever you want on it, right? Six minutes, boom, in and out. It is the best thin crust pizza you will ever have. That burrito tortilla is just enough to where you get all the topping flavor and just enough of that little bit of a bread texture. But you need to try that. I enjoy it. And it's like I said, it takes like six minutes and you're in and out the oven. 400 degrees, pizza stone, six minutes, in and out. And, you, and it makes four, four pieces. So you can eat an entire pizza, basically, and not feel bad about it. <laughs> um, but anyway, guys, I think we're going to wrap things up. We got, we got some stuff accomplished. I do apologize I didn't get out this morning. But again, uh, where we get our landscaping stuff, they're only open for like 7 to 12. So I had to get it and go. Um, but we did get some stuff accomplished. We got a really cool flight stand created. We got my Wester 35 all glued up, ready to go. We, uh, we, we, we made a foam anvil. So, hey, we got some stuff accomplished today. And, oh, if you don't have a pizza stone, Jeanette, you need to get a pizza stone. It's well worth the investment. Even for frozen pizzas, I'm telling you, the pizza stone, and you put the pizza stone in there, let the oven preheat with the stone in there, and, and you, it's just, I'm telling you, pizza stones are the way to go. It's just the way to go. The crust, it evenly browns, it's perfect. You gotta do it, you gotta do it. Uh, but anyway, uh, we got some stuff accomplished, but um, I need to go get a pizza. So, guys, hope y'all have a great rest of the Saturday. Um, again, got some videos coming out this week. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep on trugging. And there could possibly be a small toy hunt video this week. We'll see. We, we shall see. But, guys, I appreciate you uh, hanging out with me. And, uh, yeah, it was just fun. I love it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yes but guys always remember toys refresh your soul and i'll see you next time later everybody